are looking at a picture of the delegate tractor in the GOP nomination process for a Republican candidate for president. Mitt Romney, of course, at the top of that list now with 1,183 delegates after a win in the Texas primary. Good morning, everyone. I'm Kelsey Hubbard, and welcome to the News Hub. Mitt Romney says he is the GOP nominee, nominee although he will retain the title of presumptive nominee until the, uh, the, the uh, until he is formally announced at the convention later this summer. And of of course, we're going to have all of that and more here on the News Hub this morning. But we're going to start with Patrick O'Connor in Bethesda, Maryland, who's going to talk a little bit about the primary win for Romney, what it means, and where the campaign goes from here. Patrick, thanks so much for joining us this morning. Thanks for having me. So uh, Mitt Romney uh, cinching that GOP nomination, he says, with that win in Texas. Uh, so what does this mean now for the campaign trail, for his campaign? Does it change significantly from here? Uh, in short, not much. Um, last night was a... Uh, a symbolic milestone for Mitt Romney, but it won't really change the uh, the dynamic or trajectory of the campaign that much. Uh, the race or the primary had essentially been over since mid-April when uh, Rick Santorum decided that he was going to end his campaign. Uh, as most voters know by now, uh, Mitt Romney and Barack Obama have been going back and forth here for well over a month. So uh, this doesn't really change the dy dynamics, but it did give Mitt Romney a chance to, uh, to signal uh, the end of a five-month journey for him uh, after, you know, four years after he was unable to lock up the Republican nomination. So I think this is more symbolic than anything else uh, for the, Repu the likely or presumptive Republican nominee. Right. And of course, this morning, I think a lot of people are asking the question, what does Mitt Romney want with Donald Trump? There was a lot of talk about this yesterday before the, the two met in Las Vegas. Uh, what is what is going on here? Why why is Mitt Romney uh, feeling the need to, to give Donald Trump sort of a, a, a place in his uh, campaign or, or give him the attention that uh, obviously Donald Trump wants? Absolutely. He uh, they did a fundraiser last night in Las Vegas. Uh, the rumors are he made uh, they raked in somewhere around two million dollars. So I guess the short answer would be money. Uh, you know, Mitt Romney needs to be able to uh, to tap into Donald's friends as he tries to gear up for what would be a very expensive general election fight. Um, but you know, this was an endorsement that uh, Mitt Romney actually sought out during the primary. Uh, uh, it was kind of a head scratcher at the time, just because the one thing we knew about Donald Trump is that he had been kind of out there pushing this uh, the the birther theory that uh, Barack Obama had not been born in in the United States. Uh, the fact that they're appearing together uh, is, you know, I it, it it maybe raises some complications for the Romney campaign, but I think they would rather have Donald Trump in the tent as opposed to outside of the tent, because there is a segment of, I don't know that they're necessarily Republicans, but they're certainly independents that would lean Republican that actually uh, had rallied around the real estate developer and re reality TV show star. So I think they just are trying to kind of bring him in the fold because they feel like he'll be more productive on the team than he would be outside it. Right. Okay. So now we're going to turn to what's happening on the campaign trail as the topic's heating up again about venture capital from the Democratic side attacking Mitt Romney's claim that he actually created jobs or has a better business acumen to lead this country ahead in the growth uh, that way. And of course, then the Republicans attacking Obama's Solyndra investment.